Welcome. This tutorial is covering the installation of a plugin called Galleria. Galleria is a photo gallery. And let's take a look at what exactly it is. It's basically you can set up a collection of photos to be displayed in a single space on a website. There are a variety of these available on the web. This particular one I've used before and it's free, so it's very And it's also very easy to use. Here's what it looks like if it will load for me. The basic version of this has a series of thumbnails across the bottom representing all the images in the gallery and then left and right arrows to scroll through. A little box for information for a title and a caption and that's about all it is. This is a very easy to install gallery so let's go ahead and get started. I need to go to download because like any decent plugin the developers have produced a folder of documents files that I need in order to install this so I'm going to download Galleria 142 I'm going to unzip the file once it's finished downloading and it's going to give me a folder called Galleria makes sense inside that folder are some JavaScript files there are some theme files, including some images and some CSS and some more JavaScript. I basically want to keep this whole folder together as a, as a set. So I don't want to take it apart. I just want to copy it. And I'm going to move it into, if I can find my folder here. So I have a folder for, that we're going to install this on. Uh, we have a series of images that we're going to use. We have an HTML document and we have a CSS document and we're going to install this in the HTML. But before we do that, we just need to copy the gallery of folder into that same folder structure. So those files are all in a, within a relative distance of each other in folders. Then just kind of browsing through this folder, I want to make note of where files are. So if I need to modify some installation paths, I can do that. Going back to the website, there is a simple start or beginner's guide, quick start or beginner's guide that walks you through installation. I'm not going to do all of it because there are some things in here that just simply test the code. I've used it before and I know it works, so I'm just going to simply do the required steps to install it. So it's not a real long tutorial or a run through, so we'll just get going on installing jQuery that's the very first step and they they've a lot of times the plugin type things like this are built very similarly and they'll provide you with a tutorial with some HTML code that you could simply copy and paste this particular one is using JavaScript a jQuery file from Google so we're just gonna copy that we're gonna go back to brackets which is our HTML editor and I already have that HTML file for Dubai.html open. So all I need to do, it's telling me I need to copy this, paste it inside the head element of my HTML. So I'm going to do that. Right underneath my CSS link, I'm going to just paste in this script. Now, in order to validate this, we're going to need to add something to it. So we need to add a type attribute and tell it that the browser that this is text in JavaScript that's going to enable the valid that's going to be necessary in order for this HTML to validate the next step going back to we're going to skip this make sure jQuery works properly because I know it does and this is what the file would look like if I did that what it basically tells me to do is add this and then once it works delete it so I'm going to go on to the next step which is installing Galleria so the same process here, they give me a line of code that I can copy. I copy that, I paste it into my head. I have to add the type attribute here also because they don't include this. They must not be too worried about uh, validation. And this is text in JavaScript. So I just add the type attribute to make sure that this is valid. Then I want to double check and make sure that the path is correct. So I'm going into a folder called Galleria looking for a file called Galleria1.4.min.js. Just double checking my paths. 
I have the folder called Galleria. I have a file called Galleria 1.4.2.min.js. That must be the file that they're looking for because I don't see anything else in here that refers to Galleria. Uh, this all refers to the theme. So what I must have to do is modify this a little bit to add that extra number in there. So 142 instead of 14. They must have updated the version since they've written the code or the instructions for their website. So now that I've made sure that that path is correct and it's going to the correct file, I can go back to the installation um, and there's a script to, to check if Galleria is working. Again, I've done this before. I'm going to skip that step and move on to this setting dimensions. Now their recommendation is you set this in a style element in the head of your HTML. Since we're using external style sheets, we are not going to copy the style. We're just going to copy the rule. So I'm going to copy that rule. I have to then go to the CSS document, open that with brackets, and I can move that to my right column over here. What I need to do is basically add that rule into my CSS. I'm just going to do it at the bottom. So I'm just going to paste in the rule for Galleria. I'm going to format it like the rest of my CSS here so it's easy to read. So it's setting a width, a height, and a background color. I may want to customize those because this is black and 700 pixels may be too wide. I may want to change it to a percent width to make it flexible but I can come back in and do that at some other point. Then I add images. So I have to add the markup for a div with a class of Galleria in my body and then I just start populating that with images and that's really how you add images to the Galleria. So let's go ahead and do that. So back to our HTML we have to find a location where we're going to place it and I want to place it at the bottom of my div class Khalifa so that is right here in my HTML code. What I do is I create a div class equals Galleria, just like in their tutorial, and I close the div. And then inside of that div, I can just start populating images. So I would say image source equals images slash. And I've got a number of different images here. Let's try the Khalifa ones. So I have Khalifa one and then of course I need alt in order to make this valid I can if I want minimize this and I can go in and add a title it doesn't talk about it here but a title attribute will show up in the Galleria so we'll call this Burj Khalifa and the title. And now I've, you know, I've got a duplicate title and alt attribute. We're going to call this looking down from the 234th floor. I don't know what floor it really is, but it looks like about 234. So there's my alt, there's my title. And I just keep doing this, so I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to keep pasting and changing images. And I've numbered all these, so I can just change the number, Khalifa 2. And then I'm, I'm not going to worry too much at this point about the alt and title. So there's another different... Four. I don't know how many of these I have. Let's take a look. Six of them. So I'm going to go ahead, do another one. Number five. And six. So I have six different images in here now. And I can preview those by simply hovering over them in brackets. So I can see I've got a variety of different things. Uh, let's go ahead and beautify this. Make it look nice. There we go. Now, the last step I need to do is actually activate 
or load the Galleria theme. So they give me a script. I'm going to have to modify it slightly, but I copy that. I paste it in after my Galleria div closes. And in order to make this valid again, the script has to have a type attribute, and it equals text in JavaScript. It's going to load the theme from Galleria slash theme slash classic slash Galleria classic min dot JS. So I want to make sure Galleria themes classic, there's the file. So that's correct. That path is going to work. And then the last step, almost the last step, is to copy the, the actual run. So the first bit up here tells me where to load the theme from, and the second bit here tells it run that theme. So I'm going to come down here, I'm going to paste that in, and it's going to tell it run on this class. So this is looking then for a class called Galleria, and it's running this script on whatever's in that. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to go to my browser. I need to open up this architecture divide page again and just simply hit reload and see what shows up. Hopefully I'll have a nice box of images down here and it didn't work what happened. That looks right. Oh, I probably didn't save my CSS. That would be the issue. Yes, there we go. Now it's working. So now we have this gallery of images. I have a little bit of a problem because I have a border set around everything, which eh, can work with, I suppose. There's my title, and my alt attribute serves as a caption. I can scroll through. I can click. Now, I could make this flexible. Instead of setting a stage width of 700 pixels, I could set it to 100%. To reload the document and then it's a little more flexible it flexes with my element my width of my column here so that is the basics of installing a gallery a JavaScript or a jQuery gallery in your HTML page thanks for watching